Hey everyone, Emily with Bob's Watches. Today we're talking all about how to use Rolex's Glide Lock class and highlighting the two different variations of this revolutionary bracelet extension system. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content. When the Rolex Deep Sea Sea Dweller first made an appearance in 2008, it introduced a number of never before seen technologies aimed specifically at professional divers. Among these was the innovative Glidelock clasp, which featured an ingenious design that enabled wearers to instantly expand or contract the length of their bracelets in two millimeter increments up to a total of approximately 20 millimeters, all without the use of any tools. While this feature was specifically designed to allow divers to wear their Rolex bracelets over the sleeves of thick wetsuits, this highly practical feature is just as useful on dry land as it is deep below the surface of the ocean. Throughout the day, you may find that your wrist slightly swells and shrinks due to factors such as temperature, humidity, and hydration levels. The Glidelock class makes it easy to adjust your bracelet on the fly throughout the day so that it always maintains a perfect fit. Two years later, when Rolex updated the Submariner in 2010, the new model debuted with a slightly different version of the Glidelock clasp. While the design was slightly different, the core functionality remained unchanged, and both versions of Rolex's Glidelock clasp allow for the same tool-free, incremental adjustment of the bracelet. Today, the Rolex Submariner and Sea Dweller are both fitted with the style of the Glidelock that first debuted on the Submariner in 2010, while the Deep Sea is still fitted with the same style that was first introduced on the inaugural model from 2008. On the Glidelock class found on the Deep Sea, the center section of the class is hinged and lifts upwards with notches located on the underside surface. On the version of the Glidelock found on the Submariner and Sea Dweller, it features a single piece outer clasp that incorporates the notches directly into its underside surface. To use the version of the Glidelock clasp that is on the Deep Sea, first, lift up on the hinged center section. This will unlock the inner portion of the clasp and allow you to slide it backwards or forwards inside the outer clasp. The inner portion of the clasp has a notch that slots into the grooves on the underside of the hinged center section. Once you have adjusted the inside part of the clasp to your desired position, simply press down the hinged center section and this will lock it in place. With the hinged center section of the clasp back down and in the locked position, your bracelet length has now been adjusted and you can strap the watch back on your wrist. To use the other style of Glidelock clasp that is found on the Submariner and Sea Dweller, the process is largely the same. However, there is no hinged center section to lift up. Instead, the inner part of the clasp that slides back and forth inside the outer clasp has a latching mechanism built directly into it, rather than having the latching mechanism on a hinged center section. To unlock the latching mechanism, simply pull down on the side of the bracelet where it meets with the clasp. You'll hear a click and the inner part of the clasp will hinge downward, releasing its latch from the notches on the inside surface of the foldover clasp. Once it is unlatched, simply slide the inner part of the clasp forward or backwards to adjust the length of your bracelet, just like how you would on the Deep Seas version of the glide lock. After you have adjusted your bracelet to the desired length, just press upwards on the side of the bracelet where it meets the clasp until it latches and clicks into place. With your bracelet length adjusted and the glide lock clasp back in its lock position, your watch is now once again ready to wear. Rolex produces a number of different clasp and bracelet extension systems, but it is the glide lock clasp that offers users the greatest amount of adjustability. While this revolutionary bracelet extension system can only be found on Rolex's modern dive watch models, the glide lock clasp is an incredibly useful feature for both divers and non-divers alike. Thanks for watching our video on how to use the Rolex glide lock clasp. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on our latest video content.